Hello everyone, my name is Jacob Wall. Today's topic is the difference slash similar of Facebook and Twitter. Okay, let's talk about the similar of Facebook and Twitter first. Alright, Facebook, you get to message people. Twitter, you would message people as well. Facebook, you get to post things. Twitter, you get to post things as well. Facebook, you get to like people's posts. Twitter, you get to like people's posts as well. Facebook, you get to share people's posts. Twitter, you get to share people's posts as well. Facebook, you get to send photos to, to people. Twitter, you get to send photos to people as well. Facebook, you get to add people as your friend. And then they will add you back. Twitter, you follow them. Sometimes they will follow you back. Those are all the similars I can think of with Facebook and Twitter. The difference of Facebook and Twitter, and I always think about this earlier, is you get to post a lot of photos at once on Facebook. I mean, you don't get to post as many as you want, but you get to post a lot of photos as once on Facebook. Twitter, you cannot post a lot of photos at once on Twitter. So that's the difference of Facebook and Twitter. There is a, the difference is similar of Facebook and Twitter. So that's today's topic I want to bring up for today. It is time to get saved. I would like you to go to Romans chapter 3 verse 23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That means we all have sinned. We all have made mistakes. None of us is perfect. I would like you to go to Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Because we all have sinned, we all deserve to die and go to hell. But don't worry, I got another verse to show you, and that is Romans chapter 5 and verse 8. But God dismantrates his own love toward us, and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Christ died for us. He died for me and you, so we don't have to go to hell when we die. But we have to do one thing, though, and I would like you to go to Romans chapter 10, verse 9 through 10, and then we'll jump over to verse 13. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, that God has raised him from the dead. You will be saved, for with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Wherever it calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Once you ask God to come into your heart, you will be saved. Let's get saved right now. Don't wait till next week, because there may not be a next week. If you feel that tug in your heart, please get saved. Let's get saved. Dear Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and that you have died and rose from the dead for me. Please forgive me for my sin and take me to heaven when I die. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If you just prayed with me, you are now saved.
I would like you to go to First John chapter five, verse eleven to thirteen. And this is the testimony that God has given us in eternal life, and this life is in His Son. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. You can know that you are saved. It's not a hope so, it's a no so. I'd like you to John chapter 10 and verse 28. And I give them eternal life, and they son of repairs, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. I like that verse. No one cannot take you away from God. No one cannot. I would like you to go to Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commended you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Baptism is the next step after getting saved. Baptism does not get you to heaven. Baptism does not. I would like you to Acts chapter 2, verse 41 through 42. Then those who gladly received his word were baptized that day. About 3,000 souls were added to them, and they Continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and the breaking of bread and in prayers. Go to church and learn about the gospel. I would like you to go to 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 2. As newborn babes desire the poor milk of the world that you may grow thereby. I would like you to go to Philippines chapter 4, verse 6 to 7. Be access for nothing but everything by prayer, and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God, and the peace of God which suppresses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Read your Bible and pray every day. Prayer changes things. Last verse. I would like you to go to John chapter 3 and verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God loves us. He loves me and you. That's all I have. Um, next week's topic is a special event. Martin Luther King Jr. Goodbye, everyone.